Welcome to this course on data science. We have 12 modules that we're going to be walking through on this to teach you the basics of data science. And we'll do it with the temperature control lab. So the temperature control lab has two heaters, Q2 and Q1, and two temperature sensors, T1 and T2, and also an LED over here that we can flash on or off. You can get this on Amazon, or you can also just walk through the course with some sample data sets. You don't necessarily have to have a temperature control lab. But what we're going to be doing with this course is placing some materials right here in between the two heaters and determine the thermal conductivity of those. So just a basic heat transfer lab, but we're going to be building up to that for our final project. So many simple exercises and hands-on demonstrations of data science uh, before we get to that project. If you'd like to just get started, you can come up uh, to the uh, course website, and this is the GitHub uh, repository introduction. Uh, you can view the project on GitHub, and I'll just show you the files and how to get those. There's a README here, and if you're just beginning with Python, I'd recommend this beginning Python course, and it's just a separate course, uh, very similar to this one, uh, but with 12 introductory exercises that walk you through some of the very basics of Python. Okay, so that's uh, beginner Python. Um, we're going to go through this. This is, assumes that you already know some things about Python, and we're just going to be doing uh, data science. So. Let's um, just go and get the repository. You can clone or download it. Here's the download zip. And it's just going to download it uh, wherever you have your downloads. Okay, I'm going to click Open Folder. And then I'm going to right click and Extract All. OK, and then you can delete the zip file once you're done with that. And here I have all of the files for the course. Okay, the very first thing that you'll need to install is the an Anaconda distribution. And so to get that, you just go to uh, Anaconda download. And then the very first link is going to be the uh, have the download button. And then you can install it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Just go ahead and click download. That's going to be the 64-bit graphical installer. And I think mine is just finishing up here. I just downloaded it, and it's just installing and unpacking uh, some of these packages. But while that's uh, finishing up, I'm going to go and, um, and just give you an overview of the course and what we're going to be covering in this, uh, in data, in this data science course. Okay, so uh, we're going to, uh, let's come down here. Okay, so we're going to, as a final project, as I mentioned, uh, we're going to collect and analyze data from the TC lab to determine thermal conductivity of three materials, metal, plastic, and cardboard. They're placed between the two temperature sensors. We'll create a digital twin that predicts heat transfer and temperature. So if you wanted to make this problem a little bit more concrete, like a real situation, suppose that you're designing a next generation cell phone and the battery and the processor on the cell phone generate, the processor generates a lot of heat. And you want to make sure that the material between them will prevent overheating of the battery by the processor. So this study is going to help us answer questions about the material properties for predicting the temperature of the battery and processor. It's going to use general data science methods, and we're going to go through an overview of the 12 different uh, lessons. First of all, just starting with an overview of data science and just how to think about data science and how to approach uh, problems, we have data import and export. Data is the very first thing that we need to get into the Python environment, and so we're going to review a couple different ways to import it from files. Uh, you can also import it from a database or um, other methods. Okay, data analysis. So once you get the data, 
You just want to do some basic statistical analysis to be able to understand your data and uh, give a better feel for what you're going to be working with. Another way to do that is just with uh, visualizing the data. You can uh, create plots and graphs to help you understand large and complex data sets. Um, okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is prepare the data. So that's going to be cleansing the data, removing bad values, scaling the data, and then dividing it into two sets. One is going to be a training set. Okay, train. Uh, and then we'll also divide that into a test set as well. All right, we'll do some regression with that data uh, and review common methods and packages. Um, you know, we will use packages such as TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn, also the Gecko package as well. And we'll talk about features. Now, features are things that help you differentiate things for classification. Classification helps you to segregate the data into uh, you know, yes or no answers, or if you're trying to classify an image and determine what number it is, um, you know, from text recognition. There are many other examples of classification, and we'll go through a few of those. We'll do interpolation. Uh, we're going to solve equations, also differential equations, and then work with time series models. Okay, let me show you some of the links that uh, might be helpful. And it looks like this is just finishing up. I'll click next. And it looks like it just installed. And I'll click no on learning more information there. All right, and then um, let me just show you a couple of these links just while we're, uh, we're here. Okay, so coming down. Um, all right, there's the link here to, you know, you can purchase it on Amazon or just some additional information about the temperature control lab kit. You can also try to build this yourself if you'd like to. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and just start up Jupyter Notebook and just open up this very first one. I'm going to try type Jupyter and it should appear right up here as a Jupyter Notebook. Okay, it's going to run uh, this window. Don't close this one or it's going to shut down, uh, make your web page unresponsive. So you can just minimize this. Okay, I'm going to navigate to where I unzipped some of those files. This was in Data Science uh, Master. And then if I go to Introduction, it's going to open it up. Okay, so here's the course overview. And I'll just post the video link here if you'd like to go through any of the solutions for any of the exercises there will be a solution video for each of those okay and uh, links here as well you get a link for installing anaconda but by this point you have it okay and then a few of the other links um, here just to help you get started okay let's just test this though we're going to insert a cell below and just type print uh, hello world. Okay, if you hit uh, control enter, then it will run this. Okay, so there we have it uh, working. If you'd like to at this point, you could also use another environment like VS Code. Okay, so I'm gonna start this up now that I've installed Anaconda. Then I can open file and let's just open this introduction and it will hopefully bring me to an IPython notebook of this file and then if I go down to the very bottom okay so then I could insert uh, so for example I can run or do the other things here in VS Code as well so that's another alternative if you want to use uh, VS Code um, but you, know, you can't use something like Google Colab because we need the uh, USB serial connection to our temperature control lab. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy this course. And uh, I'd, if you'd like to make a comment uh, down below in the video, I'll put some of these links down there as well.